Hello, hello, hello. My name is Azad Marden. Welcome to Node University Short Lectures. Let's talk about Node editors, the coding editors. In Node.js, there are a lot of options because Node.js is related to web development and web developers there, there are a lot of us. There are a lot of web developers. Let's face it. Most of software engineering, software engineering now in 2018 is done in the web. A little bit on mobile, a little bit on the back end, but most of it related to the web anyway. So there are a lot of web developers, a lot, a lot of options, a lot of choices for your HTML, CSS, JavaScript uh, editors, right? Um, Node.js. It's possible to write Node.js using those editors. So, for example, brackets. I've heard I've heard good thing about brackets. Coda. It's another editor. Uh, before that, TextMate for uh, Mac OS and Sublime Text for Mac and Windows. Sublime Text Two. Sublime Text Three. Now they're all all old. They're all old. Same as Vim or Emacs. If you're using Vim or uh, Emacs. Um, and worst of it, Notepad++. So that's the worst editor. Uh, I still see people using it at my workshop. I, I immediately just uh, just uh, punish those people and just uh, make them download VS Code. So VS Code, that's my go-to editor. I still use Atom for the screencast because I have a few packages, few extensions for Atom, which I build, which helps me, uh, they help me to record those screencasts. But for my most web development and for my writing of the books and blog posts, I use VS Code. So why VS Code is great? Well, first of all, it's uh, relatively faster than Atom. Atom is kind of buggy and slow. Um, I, I tried to using it for almost a year. It, it still had its issues. VS Code is more polished. They deteriorate pretty fast. They have probably they have a lot of developers because it's Microsoft. So they just throw developers at uh, the VS Code project and um, they do they do the their job great. They do a great job of introducing new features and new releases and fixing the bugs. There are a lot of good extensions. So for example, I'm still using Sublime Text shortcuts because when I switch to Atom, I installed a plugin that will allow me to use Sublime Text shortcuts in Atom. And then when I switch to VS Code, guess what? I wanted my shortcuts and there was an extension to allow me to use Sublime Text shortcuts in VS Code. VS Code has a debugger. That's a good thing for some people. I don't use it. I use console logs. VS Code also has built-in Git. Well, I also don't use that, but some people might find it more useful. What I like is it shows me where those, uh, where my uh, tree is dirty, where I have the uncommitted changes. So that's kind of nice. It also has the terminal. So terminal is pretty, pretty nice thing. Uh, so right at the bottom, I can open the terminal and I'm using ZSH. So VS Code is pretty smart. It knows that I'm not using bash, I'm using ZSH. And it loads all my plugins, all my ZSH plugins, and uh, I can uh, even have multiple windows. So I would have one window for MongoDB, another for Webpack, third for Node, and then uh, one more for uh, Git. So VS Code lot has a lot. It has a lot of themes, as most of the, most of the modern editors. So that's not unusual. Uh, and the interesting fact, it's built on Node.js as well. So both Atom and VS Code, they use a tool, it's called Electron. And Electron, it's a Node.js based tool. It's basically like a browser. And those editors, they are basically HTML, CSS and JavaScript and a little bit of Node.js. So you have like a mini website running and that's how they function, that's how they work. By the way, Slack, a popular instant managed messaging app for uh, companies and teams, it's also built on Node.js and Electron. So that's my two picks, Atom or VS Code. I would say go with VS Code unless you want to uh, build your own extension using CoffeeScript. In this case, Atom, it's a good option as well. Hey, Atom built by GitHub and VS Code by Microsoft. Two tech companies, you can get wrong with them. And also, they are free. They are free, which is nice. Um, it, 
it's okay to pay 50 bucks for an editor which will bring you uh, 50,000 or 150,000 dollars per year but still it's nice to have free and it's nice to have uh, a lot of innovation in those develop uh, in those for those tools as well so that's it for the short lecture and uh, stop using notepad++ stop using that use vs code or atom and i'll see you later